So what we have here is that we have AIDS data. So once an AIDS patient was given medication, this data describes how long they lived in months after receiving that medication. Now, before we get started in actually reviewing the data using mean, median, standard deviation, IQR, things like that, we have to make sure that our Excel sheet is set up for this. So we wanna to go to File. All the way down the bottom, we're gonna to go to Options. Now on this left-hand side, second from the bottom, we're gonna to go to Add-ins. Now, if we look here, we can see Analysis Tool Pack. We wanna click on that and hit Go. Now where it says Analysis Tool Pack, we wanna make sure that that is checked and then hit OK. What that's going to do for us is that we should be able to highlight our data, go to Data, and then all the way on the far right, it's gonna say Data Analysis. So we're gonna click Data Analysis, and it's going to come up with some um, different things that we can do. So we're going to use a lot of these in the future, but for right now, what we want is we want something called descriptive statistics. Notice that these are in order. So we're gonna hit OK. Input range. So we are going to go over here and highlight the data that we want in that range. Grouped by columns, yep. Label in the first row, yep. Okay, then it's going to ask where you want your stuff to be put out. So we just want it on a new worksheet and we want the summary statistics. We can talk about confidence level and the case largest and smallest later, but for right now, just summary statistics. After we hit OK, it's going to come out with our summary statistics, which is just so awesome. So what we have here is we have the mean, the standard error, the median, the mode, the standard deviation, the min, the max, the sum, and the count. All right, so let's go back to this and let's check out a box and whisker plot. So remember, if I want to do a box and whisker plot, what I can do is I can highlight my data, go to insert, click on that histogram and I'll actually pull up a box and whisker plot. Now what I can do is that I can click on this little plus, okay? And can I have data labels? So what this data label does is it's going to label the min, the max, so this is the min, that's the max, and it's also going to label Q1, Q2, and Q3 for me. As well, a neat feature of this is it's also going to give me the mean, which is this little X in the middle.